Picture this, it's the end of the month, you're counting your last few coins, wondering where all the money went. Sound familiar? Don't worry, you're not alone. Many of us are in the same boat, paddling hard to keep afloat in a sea of bills and expenses, with a life raft of income that seems to be springing leaks left and right. But here's the good news. You don't need to be a financial wizard to turn things around. The struggle to save money on a low income is real, but it's not a life sentence. It's a challenge, yes, but one that can be overcome with some strategic planning and a pinch of determination. Small changes can lead to significant results. It's like planting a tree. It starts with a tiny seed, but with time, patience, and a bit of nurture, it can grow into a towering oak. So buckle up and prepare to dive into a world of smart, practical strategies. We're here to show you how saving on a low income is not only possible, but doable. Stay tuned. First things first. Do you know where your money is going? Understanding your cash flow is crucial. Let's break it down. Your cash flow is essentially the money that's flowing in and out of your wallet. And knowing this can be a game changer. It's like being a detective, but instead of tracking down criminals, you're tracking down those sneaky expenses that keep your savings account on a diet. Now, where does your money come from? This could be your 9 to 5 job, a side hustle, or even government benefits. Track every single penny, yes even that loose change you found in the couch cushions. It might seem tedious, but it'll give you a clear picture of your total income. Now let's talk about expenses. We can split these into two categories, fixed and variable. Fixed expenses are your regular bills like rent, utilities, and that gym membership you swear you'll start using next week. Variable expenses on the other hand, are a little more unpredictable. Think groceries, entertainment, and those spontaneous online shopping sprees. The key here is to track your income and expenses for at least a month. Why a month, you ask? Well, it's long enough to give you a realistic snapshot of your financial situation and short enough to not feel like a chore. And trust me, knowing where your money is going can reveal some surprising areas for potential savings. Now you might be thinking, but I'm not a numbers person. Well, good news, you don't have to be. There are plenty of free budgeting apps out there that can do the heavy lifting for you. They can help you categorize your expenses, set budgets, and even give you friendly nudges when you're getting a little spend happy. So, before we dive into saving strategies, take some time to understand your cash flow. Remember, knowledge is power. If you're finding this video helpful, don't forget to give it a thumbs up and subscribe to our channel for more money-saving tips. Now that you're a cash flow expert, let's talk about saving strategies that won't make you feel like you're living on bread and water. First things first, we need to prioritize needs over wants. It's essential to distinguish between spending that's necessary, like housing and food, from discretionary spending, like that shiny new gadget or an impromptu night out. It's not about saying no to fun, but about saying yes more wisely. Now let's embrace frugal living. And no, frugal doesn't mean cheap, it means being economical and avoiding waste. Think about cooking at home more often. Not only can you save money, but you can also become the next master chef in your own kitchen. And what about entertainment? Libraries, parks, free local events, these are gold mines for cost-free fun. Also, don't underestimate the power of coupons and discounts. There's a certain satisfaction in knowing you've gotten a great deal. It's like a game. And trust me, winning has never tasted so sweet. Next up, renegotiate bills. Yes, you heard that right. Call up your providers, be it for internet, cable, or insurance, and negotiate for lower rates. You'd be surprised how often there's wiggle room if you just ask. Now, let's set some mini-saving goals. Challenge yourself, maybe it's no eating out for a week or cutting back on coffee shop visits, then reward yourself when you hit that goal. It's not just about the money you save, but the sense of accomplishment that comes with it. For those who are extra motivated, how about a no-spend challenge? Pick a day, a week, or if you're brave enough, a whole month, and commit to not spending on non-essentials. It's a great way to reset your spending habits and find joy in the simple things. Remember, it's not about deprivation, it's about making smarter choices. And here's a little secret, it's not just about the money you save today, but the habits you're building for tomorrow. So start small, keep it simple, and watch your savings grow. It's all about those baby steps, my friends. So let's recap, choose needs over wants, embrace frugal living, renegotiate bills, set mini saving goals, and maybe just maybe try a no-spend challenge. Remember, it's not about deprivation, it's about making smarter choices. Let's talk about making some extra cash. Who doesn't like the sound of that, right? Now before you start imagining the glitz and glamour of a millionaire's life, let's bring it back to reality. 
we're focusing on realistic and accessible ways to boost your income, all within your current life constraints. First off, let's shine a spotlight on the side hustle. This isn't about working yourself to the bone, it's about finding something you're good at and turning it into a money-making venture. Are you a whiz at graphic design? Could you turn your baking skills into a tasty weekend enterprise? Perhaps you're a pro at proofreading? Whatever your talents, there's likely a market out there for it. Next, let's delve into the sharing economy. You know that spare room that's gathering dust? Or the car that's sitting idle while you're at work? These could be your golden tickets to additional income. Renting out unused space or sharing your car can be a great way to make money with minimal effort. Now this next point might feel a bit daunting but it's worth considering. Negotiating a raise. If you've been delivering value to your job and feel that a pay increase is justified, it might be time to have that conversation with your employer, make sure to approach it professionally and be prepared to demonstrate your worth. So, you've managed to boost your income, fantastic! But don't forget our ultimate goal here, saving. It can be tempting to see this extra cash as fun money but remember, every little bit you save brings you closer to your financial goals. This isn't to say you can't enjoy your hard-earned money but consider setting aside a portion of this additional income for savings. Even a small amount can make a significant difference in the long run. Remember, the key is balance. Work hard, but don't forget to take care of yourself. Make money, but remember to save. And most importantly keep your financial goals in mind. Extra income doesn't have to mean extra spending. Keep your savings goal in mind. Now let's turn saving from a chore into a habit. Yes, it's possible. Imagine a life where you don't have to remember to save because it's already happening automatically. Sounds like a dream, right? Well, it's not. It's a reality you can live, thanks to the magic of automating your savings. By setting up automatic transfers to your savings account, you're essentially paying yourself first. Even if it's a small amount, it can make a significant difference over time. Think about it this way. You wouldn't forget to pay your rent or your Netflix subscription, would you? So why not treat your savings account with the same urgency? By prioritizing your savings, you're prioritizing your future. Now let's talk about a little trick that can help you save without even noticing. Rounding up your purchases. You know how when you're at the grocery store and your total comes to $19.85? Imagine if every time you made a purchase that spare change got rounded up and put into your savings. Those few cents here and there can really add up over time. And speaking of things adding up, let's touch on something that might make you fall in love with saving. Compound interest. It's like a snowball effect for your savings. The money you save earns interest, and then that interest earns interest. And before you know it, your savings have grown significantly. It's like your money is having babies. But remember, the key to all of this is consistency. Building a savings habit isn't about making huge changes overnight. It's about making small, consistent efforts that add up over time. It's like watering a plant. You can't just dump a ton of water on it one day and then ignore it for a month. You have to water it a little bit each day, and over time, you'll see it grow. Remember, the best time to start saving was yesterday. The second best time is now. So let's get started, shall we? So, there you have it. Saving on a low income is not only achievable but it's also something you can start today. We've journeyed through understanding your cash flow, the importance of distinguishing between wants and needs, and the power of frugal living. We've also explored renegotiating bills and setting yourself mini-saving goals. Remember that no-spend challenge? Not only that, but we've delved into boosting income streams without overwhelming your schedule. Side hustles, the economy, even negotiating a raise, all potential paths to increase your earnings. And let's not forget the importance of building a savings habit, automating your savings, and harnessing the power of compound interest. Now, it's over to you. Start tracking your income and expenses, cut back where you can, consider those income-boosting strategies, and automate a small amount of savings with each paycheck. Remember, every small step you take today can lead to a secure financial future tomorrow. So what are you waiting for? Let's start saving. But before we part, hey, if you found this video helpful, please give it a thumbs up and don't forget to subscribe to our channel. It's small action on your part but it means a lot to us. Plus you'll be the first to know when we post new content full of helpful tips and strategies so go ahead like and subscribe.